In the NFL, the axiom is simple and to the point. December decides. Win in the cold of winter and you will play into the new year. That's not pressure. It's just hard truth. It's playoff making time. That's what it is. Playoff making time. Let's get back to swarming to the ball, man. That's what makes us great, man. Let's get to the ball. JB on three. One, two, three. JB! Let's go, let's go! For the Minnesota Vikings, a division title was at stake. For the Eagles, a playoff berth. With the clear knowledge that another loss could well end any hope of postseason play. It was a game the Eagles controlled, yet could not put away, despite the elusive efforts of Randall Cunningham. On this afternoon, Cunningham stepped back in time, rushing for 121 yards. Randall's right back, he's going to run, he's going to run with the football, takes off to the outside, runs, he's going to run, he's across the 30. Randall's back, he steps up, he looks, he's going to run, now he's running, 35, 40, 45, leaping forward, banging at the people down at the 29 yard line, and we are looking at Rambling Randall once again. With just under five minutes remaining, the Eagles led 21 to 17. A key third down play in the first quarter had proved to be the difference. Now, with the game on the line, Seth Joyner would again master the moment. It would be great to see the Eagles defense force a turnover right here. He flung off, it's intercepted, and running in for a touchdown of Seth Joyner. This is looking good. This is looking very, very good. We're our backs are against the wall now, and, uh, you know, we're shooting for the playoff, for a playoff spot. And uh, that, that tells you the character of this team. This is it. Overtime. Ball is spotted. The kick is away. The kick is good! The 1992 season would come down to the Eagles and the Redskins. The two winningest teams in the NFC East over the last five seasons. NFL football, the way we love it in Philadelphia. A dynamic duel on a dark December day. For the right to play in January. It was a game of quick strikes and swift retaliation. Ripple with a short drop, looks left, looks right, going over the top, going deep, has a man in stride and running all the way down as Ricky Sanders for a touchdown. That lead didn't last long, didn't last two minutes. Randall backs up, he's looking, still looking, he's floating it for the end zone for Calvin Williams, who leaps, has a touchdown! Cunningham to Calvin Williams, who came back for the football, went into the air and stared it for the go-ahead touchdown. It was yet another epic battle of will, and it wouldn't be decided until the final play. The Redskins were fourth down at the two-yard line, and the Eagles leading by four, 17-13. This game stands on this play. Come on! play of the game. Rippin under center. Sanders in motion. Rippin rolling. Being chased. Firing. It's incomplete. The game is over. The Eagles win. Eric Allen breaks up the final pass. Eric Allen dove in there. They are going crazy. The Eagles are in the playoffs. It couldn't be more dramatic. It couldn't be more dramatic. The Eagles make the playoffs by beating the Washington Redskins. 17-13. A 20-10 victory over the Giants made the Eagles the only NFL team to go undefeated at home. 
and December's decisive playoff drive was accomplished with both starting safeties injured. A further tribute to the character of this team. And on this, the final Sunday of the regular season, Herschel Walker became the first Eagles 1,000-yard rusher since 1985. It had already been a season to remember, yet in one important way, it was just beginning. The time had now come to cast off the burden of past playoff disappointment. It would turn out to be a dizzying experience down on the bayou. In the Superdome, the Eagles look back to move forward. The memory of Jerome Brown illuminated their cause. Eagles, baby. Eagles number one, baby. Eagles. Jamie! Cunningham on play action is back. He's loading up. He wants Barnett deep. Racing. Got Has it. Five. Touchdown! Arkansas Fred Barnett! In the NFL, a playoff game is a war of attrition. Check the score at the end of 60 minutes, not 30 minutes. And then you'll find out who should be cheering. We gotta go score right now, baby. Here is a mighty big play. Third and ten of the half. Eagles rolling by ten. Cunningham, but no shotgun is back. He's loading up. He's loading it deep. Leaping. And a great touchdown catch by Fred Barnett. Fred Barnett leaping into the end zone. Making a circus catch on the far side. And there is life. We're all picking up here, Kent. Everybody's picking it up now. On first down, Bear is going to throw. He runs. He fires. It's intercepted by Jordan. Third and one. Cunningham goes to Sherman. Takes the outside. He's got the touchdown. Shotgun. Back goes A Bear. He's hit. He's safety. Safety. And it's going to be a safety or is it? Yep, they yes, give it a, a safety. A oh. safety as they get him in the end zone. Reggie White's safety was followed by a Roger Ruzik field goal. Eric Allen then wrapped it up. 2.25 to go. It's looking good. Back goes A Bear again under a rush. Intercepted and running in for a touchdown is Eric Allen. And now we'll tell you that this is Belver. The Eagles have blown the roof off the Superdome. The Eagles have blown the roof off the Superdome. The 1992 Eagles had accomplished something no Eagles team had done in 12 years. And they did it with the same remarkable resolve that framed the entire season. The big thing is this team has earned where they are right now. They've earned it through very tough football and playing for 60 minutes. And again, it's only the first step, guys. Unfortunately, the final steps were taken a week later in Dallas. Yet this Eagles season was one that will not quickly be forgotten. It was a year forged by a very special sense of purpose. For the fifth consecutive season, the Philadelphia Eagles won 10 or more games, a remarkable measure of consistency that only one other NFL team had matched. And for the fourth time in the last five years, owner Norman Brayman and President Harry Gamble steered an organization that had earned a place in the playoffs. Along with Rich Kotite, they helped make 1992 a season to remember for one of the NFL's most successful franchises.